For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Amendment offered by Mr. Poe of Texas at the end of the bill before the short title insert the following. Section 541. None of the funds made available in this act may be used to enforce Section 221 of Title 13 United States Code with respect to the American Community Survey. Pursuant to the order of the House of today, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Poe, and a member opposed will each control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Poe. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The American Community Survey, uh, first of all, is not the census. And what it is, is a survey conducted by the Census Bureau of a portion of the American population every year. It has 48 questions, and those questions are intrusive. And there is, in my opinion, intimidation by the community survey workers to get this information from citizens. Uh, a woman, a single mother in my district told me that one of the workers came by her house, started peeping in the window, uh, knocking on the door, sat in the street waiting for her to come home from work to get this information from her. And the information is intrusive. It violates the right of privacy, in my opinion. It asks questions like, how many times have you been married? Anyone in your ho household have a mental problem? Uh, what time do you go to work? And how many toilets do you have? 48 questions, very intrusive. Uh, my amendment is very simple. It prohibits the federal government from enforcing uh, a potential fine against a person for failure to uh, fill out this information. Right now, if a person doesn't fill out this information, these uh, community survey workers tell the citizen that they could be fined $5,000. Do we really want to fine Americans $5,000 for not telling the government how many toilets they have in their home? Uh, there are other ways this information can be gathered by the government without being intrusive and without violating the right of privacy. Uh, I would ask members to support my amendment to uh, prohibit a fine being imposed on the American Community Survey. And I'll re Well, that amendment was passed. And I will link below to this video so you can watch the, the remaining couple of minutes. But I also want to say that if you've not subscribed to Mox News, click on the red button because he really does capture a lot of very good um, news segments. But I also want to say that um, about two years ago when I was living in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, I had one of these experiences with a census official. And I couldn't believe, I, I, I was like stunned that I was being asked questions. He was asking questions about me and the questions were so absurd. It had nothing to do with the census. I refused to answer them. He became a little bit agitated. He said that it was the law that I was required to answer them. I said, show me the law. What is the law? Of course, he couldn't answer it. He couldn't show me anything. So I said, no, I'm not going to be answering any of these questions. About 15 minutes later, I'm sitting outside. About 15 minutes later, he comes back. And he asked me if my neighbor was home. And I said, I don't know. He said that he was knocking and that nobody answered the door. I said, then my neighbor was probably not home if he wasn't answering the door. And then proceeded to ask me questions about my neighbor. These questions were so intrusive, violated privacy. I, 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 and I kept refusing to ask, and he kept asking more and more questions, and I kept refusing to ask, and he got more and more agitated, hostile, aggressive. And, you know, he was wearing this identification card around his neck that he's a census official. I mean, the guy was on such a power trip. It was unbelievable. And he walked away, and I was just utterly stunned. This is Agenda 21 driven. And if you don't know what Agenda 21 is, I hope that you do some research and find out what it is. Our local and state and federal governments are passing mountains of legislation filled with rules and regulations and codes that are so absurd but frightening. Because if you don't abide by the rules and regulations and these codes, the penalties are very stiff. 
as you heard the penalty with this, not answering any of these questions that have nothing to do with the census, you're fined $5,000. Well, fortunately, this amendment was passed, but a whole lot are not. So in my next video, I'm going to be reading an article about Agenda 21 that I thought is quite good. I hope you listen, but I hope you do the research yourself because it's really, it's, <laughs> Agenda 21 is one piece of global, tyrannical legislation that is going to make people's lives a nightmare. Have a great day, guys.